How's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again with a matter video for you guys. So, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please feel free, go down, watch some of the rest of them, and if you like them, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, support always means a lot to me, guys. So, with that being said, we got some updates in the game now. So, two big updates in this game. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> depending on who you are and how often you run into them if you guys are new to my channel i what i'm talking about you'll see and some of my recent gameplays but some of you guys that have been following me for quite some time probably since i started my channel you guys know that there's typical ea bs in this game glitchy stuff happens yada 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 now they fixed somewhat of a I really don't know how to say it because it was something that was somewhat needed in the game that they fixed, but at the same time, it should be patched. So, I'm going to get into that in a second, but one of the updates which really didn't affect me whatsoever was the Nasty Streak. Now, I personally have never ran into Nasty Streak, personally, like never, throughout the entire time of playing this game, I've never once ran into Nasty Streak. But they fixed an issue with players being at Nasty Streak unable to use their abilities when they're out of position. So I talked about this in a past update that they did that somewhat was coming about with Nasty Streak. That people were putting in certain formations, typically Oakland Raider playbook offense, there's a lot of formations where old linemen could be placed at fullback. Now, if you guys remember way back when, earlier in the year, when the first player got Nashi Streak, I think it was Joe Thomas. When he first got Nashi Streak, a lot of people were putting him at tight end, which you were able to do. You could put a left tackle at tight end. But with him at Nashi Streak, he was able to just pancake DBs just down the field. And just it just is what it is. But they got to it quick. They fixed that issue quick. But of course, people are going to always find ways to cheat the game and this and that and break the game and yada, yada, yada. Which, I don't fault EA for that. I fault the Madden community for that. Okay? But it is what it is. Somebody found a way to put Nashi Streak, obviously, on a tackle, but move that tackle to fullback and then get the same effect as if he was at tight end. So pretty much whatever run formation you're doing, nine times out of ten, your fullback is either going to get to a linebacker first, and if that linebacker's picked up, he's going secondary. If he goes secondary and you have a lineman there with Nashi Streak, it's going to be pancakes all day. But they fixed that. So kudos to EA, but... Again, that doesn't really affect me because I've never really ran into Nasty Street at all through playing Madden this year. Now, the big dilemma with this next update. I complained about it before. It's out of, I believe it's 245 odd. And um, there's a few gameplays that I have on my channel that I've ran into into this particular setup blitz setup whatever but it's um nickel two four five odd it's mostly out of the live playbooks on defense um bears have it um actually one of the playbooks i have has it um can't think of it off the top of my head because it's not a playbook i typically use but i used it just because it had two four five odd in it um titans so titans definitely has it so Essentially, what was happening, which, again, like I said, if some of you guys have been following me for some time, you've seen it in my gameplays. Essentially, there will be a linebacker lined up between the center and the guard. And he would just shoot in instantly, untouched, and pretty much tackle your quarterback before you are able to hand it off. Now, granted, 
with how unbalanced running the ball has been this year, how greatly OP running the ball has been, I understand why some people were like, this shouldn't have been taken out the game. Because this pretty much takes away a lot of run plays that people like to do. Now, granted, I personally don't have an issue with the 2-4-5 odd blitz um, because you can beat it. It is a beatable defense, and if you know how to beat it, you're pretty much going to score every time. If not score, you're guaranteed at least the first down. And just so you guys know, it's um, 2 4 5 odd bench blitz 3 is the um, formation. Okay, the formation and the play. Okay, so formation 2 4 5 odd, the play is bench blitz 3. All right. But it was a very overpowered play because it was a glitch. Okay. At no point in time should that ever happen. Um, this was around a time that I was bitch moaning and complaining about. This is why we need to assign blocking assignments because this shouldn't be happening and this shouldn't be happening. There shouldn't be somebody coming in free, this, that, and the other. Now, again, running the ball is very overpowered in this game, and I completely understand it. And to be honest with you, I fair on the side of keeping this glitch in the game. Why? Because EA has failed us as a community to balance run game and Madden this year, okay? They tried their best, and <clears throat> they just can't do it. They can't get it right. Um, from trying to fix run committing to um, stumbling never being in the game, but they introduced stumbling in the game to kind of try to minimize the run game, and people still run it like crazy, and they just can't get it right, to then changing the most overpowered running back in the run game, Eric Dickerson's X Factor, to you only can use him for five plays, and then that's it. After that, you're done. But as you guys can see, X Factor or not, I'm still going to be breaking runs with Dickerson, so it don't even much matter to me. But personally, like I said, I fare on the side with the Madden community that the glitch has stayed in the game because not everybody knows how to stop the run in this game. And if that is one way of stopping it, then you need to keep that in the game, glitch or not. Because if you're not going to fix the run game, then we have to maximize any little any little bit we can get. And if it's a glitch, then we got to maximize that. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this ultimately is the reason of why this game is broken and this and that. No, because at the end of the day, there's still a whole bunch of other stuff left in this game that have not, have not been fixed, that are huge issues, and, you know, again, it's, towards, it's the back end of the year, so EA's not going to really do anything much else to fix anything else, but still, it's still a lot that needs to be fixed, and if not needs to be fixed, it needs to be addressed for next year, especially if you're going to be competing with 2K. Now, I understand 2K is going to be a non-simulated game, at least for this next year coming up, okay? Now, maybe the year after... Maybe the maybe NFL will give them the rights to um, make a non um, make a simulated game to where they can use the players' names and this that and the other. But as of right now, EA doesn't have that much competition, but it's on the way. So these things either need to be addressed now, or that's going to be it for EA. All right. Personally, after the bullshit that I've been seeing throughout the years. Quite frankly, I do hope 2K topples EA same way they did to them in NBA Live. I, I really do hope 2K topples them. But, again, that's just my personal opinion. But it is what it is. All right? Now, as far as the glitch, like I said, I fair on the side that it should have stayed in. But, at the same time, it is a glitch. And they have taken it out. So, that is no longer a, a thing in the game. Now, personally, how I normally stop runs in this game... Is simply just I play man blitz defense all right every single time all right sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't that's running in this game all right that's how it is there's no consistency with this game the only consistency with this game was a two four five odd blitz and that was it other than that there was no other consistency on stopping the run all right but that's personally how I stop it normally just three four defense man blitz and that's it all right.
Sometimes they'll get you in the backfield. Sometimes they'll get you for no yards. Sometimes you'll break it for a touchdown. It's EA. What, do you, what can you do about it? All right. But ultimately, how I feel about it is, is it for the best? I would say no. Because all, all it does is just entices people to find other glitchy stuff to use in the game to therefore break the game. And essentially figure out how to do something to stop the run or whatever the case is. Now, granted, I personally don't agree with breaking the game to try to stop the run because it's too late. What's the point now? The game's going to be almost over. It's it's getting close to Madden 21. They're going to start releasing news on Madden 21 soon. So, what's the point, guys? But that's just my two cents. As far as other stuff in the game, this... The whole update in this, this is the least of EA's worries. The biggest complaints that I have about this game, number one, assigning blocking assignments. I I personally, if I can, I, I should be able to. Right, as the consumer, as somebody who pays $60 for their game, just like everybody else does, I should be able to take my CPU completely out of the game if i so choose to not completely out of the game but as much out of the game as possible some of the blocking that i see from madden it's absolutely terrible guys it's awful it's i cannot believe it sometimes it's bad it's really bad and i get the run games overpowered and stuff but still if you can balance the run game Assigning blocking assignments shouldn't be that difficult, especially if it's on one side of the ball, okay? Now, not just that, but assigning blocking assignments and zone coverages. Zone coverages, and granted, zone coverages have been ass through the entirety of Madden being a thing. Like, ever since EA put out Madden, zone coverages have just been god-awful, man. I just terrible. And again, it really makes you wonder: Do the back of the, do the numbers on the back of these cards really mean anything? Because I'll give you guys a perfect example of what I'm talking about, right? So Dickerson has, if I'm not mistaken, has 99 carrying. But I'm gonna check. All right, I'm I'm going to check. All right, just to see, just to prove my point. Now Dickerson, 99 carrying. All right. Not on the theme team. Right now, I'm on my main team. He has 99 carrying without theme team camps. Okay? If you guys go back through my through my videos and you find Eric Dickerson's debut game, he fumbled on his very first play, on his very first run. 99 carry. Are you serious? What th then? What does ninety nine carrying mean? Seriously, because if it doesn't mean that much for that, it definitely don't mean nothing for these zone co zone cover corners. Okay, because ninety nine zone, it, it clearly don't do shit in this game. I'm I'm gonna be straight up honest. It's been terrible. But but what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run you guys through some clips. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run you guys through some clips. And I'm only going to show you guys three. I have a bunch of clips right now, but I'm only going to show you three. Okay? The latest three that I have. One was from six days ago, and it, and it goes up. Right? So, first clip. This was in a squad game. Okay? It was me and two of my other homeboys running squads. And, um, yeah. Somehow, um... This happens. This I, I'm just gonna sit back and let you guys watch it real quick. Really? Seriously? That's a thing. Really. So as you guys can see, Randy Moss caught the ball, rolled on the ground, slowly almost got back up, 
and got an animation because the animations are so great. Because the animations are supposed to make the game feel real. To be more realistic. I got an animation that as if I was getting hit in the air. As if I caught the ball in the air and I got hit in my legs. I got that animation after rolling on the ground. And then slowly getting up and then getting hit. And, and believe it or not, that was an incomplete pass. Clearly had possession and everything. Now granted, <clears throat> for me, thank God it was an incomplete pass. Technically speaking, it should have been a fumble. Technically speaking. But I'm not going to side with EA just because it was an incomplete pass that should have been a fumble. The game is trash. Okay? Just want to keep that completely clear. Now, go ahead. Hit these last two. And one of them is another one of my complaints with this game. Now, that first one was just simply just dumb. All right, that should never happen. This one has to do with zone coverage. Now, as you guys can see, I'm in nickel over G, typical formation. And this was in Weekend League, by the way. And for some reason, Deion Sanders, my 99 zone cover corner, did this. Now, here's my problem with that, right? Ultimately, here's my problem with this. 99 zone cover, Deion Sanders, right? Now, if you guys play, play close enough attention to what this is and to why this happened, I clicked on late. I depended on my CPU to make that play because my CPU was in that zone in position to make that play. So I didn't click on. I clicked on late after I saw him moving out of position to not make that play. So I'm going to run that back for you one more time to show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So here we go again. As you guys can see, watch Deion Sanders closely. He'll drop back into coverage. He's where he's supposed to be at. Crosser comes there, and then I click on, and then it's too late. All right. This is the kind of stuff in this game that needs to be fixed. All right. Not glitches in the game that automatically sack your quarterback before you hand it off. This has been a problem since the game first came out. Okay. This has been a problem since, and it's not going to get fixed. I just want that to be 100% clear. Stuff like that is not going to get fixed in this game, okay? I just wanted to have that could be completely clear to you guys, all right? These little band-aid fixes that EA likes to do is going to be the reason why they fail as a company to keep in something as big as the NFL behind them because it's the same thing that happened with them in NBA, Okay? Their game was trash. They were unable to fix it and to keep up with 2K. And then they failed as a company. That's why NBA Live is trash, which is why 2K is so good. And it's going to be the same thing now. All right? Again, had no competition. EA could keep putting out the same garbage and the same trash. And because we love the NFL so much and we love football so much, we put up with it. But now 2K is coming back. And now we don't have to put up with it. And I'm not going to. All right, especially when they're putting out stuff like this. Zone coverages have been a problem in this game <clears throat> for so many Maddens, so many, and they don't fix it. They refuse to fix it. But it ultimately, it is what it is, okay? There's not much complaining I can do about it because it's part of the game. It's what we are all accustomed to. We're accustomed to trash zones. We're accustomed to people breaking the game. That's what we're accustomed to. And it's very bad. It's very sad. But I'm going to show you guys one more clip. Show you an example of what I'm talking about. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is more so of the run blocking. Right? Now, before I start this, I just want to show you guys something real quick. All right? Now, as you guys can see, from what I see, I'm in a strong set. Okay? This is another squad. Well, this is a duos game. From this, all right, what I'm seeing is that Larry Allen should take the guy that's right in front of him. Number 69 
should take that guy that's right in front of him, number 74, should take the guy that's right in front of him. All right? Which would leave me to believe that the only thing I need to worry about, technically speaking, are the two linebackers right here up top, which I believe one of them is Mays and the other one is Patrick Willis. All right? Now, in a perfect world, I would like for Upshaw to take Willis, which will leave me one-on-one -on -one with Taylor Mays in a perfect world. But in EA's world, that ain't going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and play what happens. All right. So this is what happens. Now, granted, I couldn't tell you why this just happened, but it 100% did. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it at this point. Whoa. We're going to pause it at this point. All right. A little bit back. Right here. Okay. Now, this right here, what you guys are seeing is a huge clusterfuck of just not what this play design was supposed to be, okay? For whatever reason, Upshaw is somehow in the middle of the field. I don't even know who the hell he's blocking. My number 69, which is Jordan Gross, for some reason is peeling backwards away from the stretch, okay? He's going the opposite way instead of essentially just picking up Taylor Mays. So I don't know why that's happening. All right. So if I go ahead and move a little bit more forward, this is what you get. All right. Now, I have Larry Allen peeling back, picking up number 54, and I have Jordan Groves number 69 peeling completely back and picking up somebody else. Now, Taylor Mays is picked up in this. Okay. The lane is there to hit. All right, but of course, that won't be forever. Of course, Willis comes over, and now my my friend has to make an adjustment. He has to cut. Now, personally, I think either way he would have went, this was going to be a bad play. He could have broke it outside, but Willis would have gotten him, tried to cut it up, still is going to get him anyways. Now, it is what it is. Well, Willis doesn't get him, but he goes back into traffic, and that happens. Now... Again, last time I'm going to show this because it's really pissing me off just looking at it. Like I said, this was the base formation. Clear as cut day. Just pick up who you're supposed to get. Very simple. All right. Now, this, this is what's happening. I'm already not liking what Upshaw is doing. Off rip. That, that, we're going to start with that one, number one. I already don't, because it looks like he's going to go double team the D tackle that's in the middle. Now, these guys, they're two defensive players. They're slanting downwards, okay, which is fine. It's a stretch. Give me the outside. If anything, the best bet for you is number 73 should now pick up the guy that's in front of Jordan Gross, number 69, and Jordan Gross, number 69, should be taking Taylor Mays. I'm fine with that. All right? And I'll be one-on-one -on -one with whoever the hell. But, so as you guys can see, from right here at this point, this doesn't, this is already becoming, like I said, a complete fuck-up. Jordan Gross is already starting to peel back to go pick up a guy that was in front of him. That's no longer in front of him. The guy that he was supposed to pick up is not in front of Larry Allen, okay? Jordan Gross should just go ahead and pick up Mays, all right? Now, obviously that didn't happen. And now Larry Allen clearly has his man, all right? He clearly has him picked up. But Gordon, Jordan Gross continues to keep peeling back. Now... And now Jordan Gross is stuck picking up nobody. Okay. Now, again, if I had to slow that up for you guys just one more time, because people, for some reason, people in the comments section think I'm, I'm like fucking around when I'm talking about this stuff, but it's real. It's, it's seriously real. Now, th everybody's, this guy's kicked all the way out. Jordan Gross is literally on nobody. 
on nobody. And if you watch him through the rest of this play, he continues to be on nobody. Okay? Stuff like that is the issues that I have with EA. I can I can care less about your your two four five odd blitzes, your DB buzz blitz, your this that and the other. I can care less. Your zones and your your CPU's inability to react to certain things that's in front of them. Keep in mind, this has a lot to do. I'm suppose I'm guessing here has needs to have something to do with the numbers, these magical numbers on the back of these cards. Because, I mean, I keep saying Jordan Gross. I didn't mean Jordan Gross. I mean John Runyon. John Runyon is number 69, the player that was completely fucking up that play. This man has 95 awareness. Now, I don't know what awareness you need for that not to happen. But I I need I need a right tackle that's not gonna let that whatever the awareness is because apparently 95 awareness ain't enough awareness you ain't aware enough of what's going on around you that you don't realize that you're not picking up anybody that you should probably just go ahead go to the next level and just pick up maze again the blocking assignments in this game is trash and zones they they've always been trash. But it just is what it is. We put up with it, and we accept it for what it is. But again, as it is, two new patches in the game. Are they going to do anything to help this game anymore? No. Running is still going to be overpowered. Uh, zones are still going to be trash. Uh, CPU is not going to run block consistent consistently every time. And... It's just the way it is. All right. So, again, other than that, there's nothing really new going on outside of sitting at 21K candy right now. Um, I finished the UL challenge for the token. And other than that, I, I don't know how I'm, I'm not going to do the house rules. It's, only, it's a two-day event. So, today, I believe, is the last day for this. And I'm not going to be grinding out these games. Because everybody, I've tried, I've played at least three or four of these games already. And people are staying in these games. And I'm not trying to be in those kind of games. So, House was going to have to go by the wayside. But, um, Color Smash, I'm doing these. I'm going to try to knock all these out. Get some of the letters. And then we're going to try to complete the big to grand egg. As soon as possible, if I can remember the sets are. I think this only has at least four or three days left. So this is going to probably be the next thing Next thing I'm going to try to do. We have three days left. So this is going to be the next thing I'm going to try to do. And then I'll probably go ahead and knock out the rest of these as soon as I, you know, can buy the letters and stuff. Because that's probably what I'm going to end up needing to do. Either that or using the candy to get the letters that I need, which i probably end up doing that instead. I'd rather keep my coins where they're at so I can be somewhat kind of prepared for golden tickets when they drop which is coming out the ninth by the way golden tickets are dropping the ninth and also monthly rewards for weekend league is also dropping on the ninth so be on the lookout for that but with that being said guys like i said you let me know in the comment section below how do you guys feel about the clips i showed you let me know about how you guys are doing in your color smash and also make sure you guys get your ultimate legend tokens done but not only that let me know how you guys feel about the patch are you guys that are disappointed that the 245 odd is out? Are you guys happy? Let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, check your family support. It means a lot. Till the next one, guys. Peace.